So far, we've considered the spectroscopy of atoms, both single and multi-electron atoms, and now we want to extend that discussion to molecules. Well, we're not going to talk about molecules in this course. If you want to talk about or understand the electronic spectroscopy of molecules, take the next course in physical chemistry, Chem 451, Quantum Mechanics, and you'll learn more about that. Here we'll just introduce some of the nomenclature, so you might be familiar with that when you come across it. All right, so diatomic molecule, essentially what you're doing is now instead of atoms, you have a molecule. Let's look at diatomic molecules. Here's an atom, here's a bond, here's another atom. And these atoms, or the molecule itself, has some various electrons, molecular orbitals, and angular momentum, and so on. So what you do is project, suppose this is some angular momentum here, uh, call it, uh, say, L we're going to project that value of L onto the bond axis. This is for diatomic molecule. And what we're going to do is to use a symbol instead of L, we're going to use capital Greek letter lambda. That's lambda. And then we're going to have the same thing for S. We have some value of S here. We're going to project that along that axis. Instead of S, we're going to use a capital Greek letter sigma for that. And then for J, we're running out of room here, but for J, we're going to project that there, and J will now uh, go into what's omega. We're going to use the symbol omega for the total angular momentum projected along the bond axis, and that will be equal to L plus S, but L plus S will be Greek letter lambda and Greek letter sigma. So there's a change in nomenclature, change in symbols actually, uh, we have j going to omega, l goes to lambda, and s goes to sigma. Now we're going to talk about term symbols, giving various, again, various values of uh, s, l, and omega. And here's the new term symbol. So uh, here's our table. So remember we had l, we're now going to call capital lambda 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. This was an s, we're going to use this as sigma. This was an L. Here we're going to use uh, oh, SP. This is a P. Here we're going to use capital Greek letter pi. <laughs> and here this was a D. Here we're going to use capital Greek letter delta. This was an F. Here we're going to use capital Greek letter phi. And so on. So I guess we're switching to Greek here when you talk about diatomic molecules. And then with those no symbol, new symbols, we can have selection rules for there. Remember, it used to be delta L, 0 plus or minus 1. Here, delta lambda, 0 plus or minus 1. Delta S is 0. Still no singlet, triplet allowed states. And here you have garada and ungarada, garada and ungarada. And this is symmetric uh, with respect to inversion. And this is symmetric with respect to exchange of electrons, whether the wave function is symmetric or anti-symmetric. So that's just a very, very brief overview of electronic spectroscopy of molecules. If you want to learn more, take Chem 451.